Hey guys. So I was thinking about doing this several different ways. This is the beginning of my Warcraft cooking section. So I thought about it and I thought about it. And I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll make a dish inspired by each of the races. So today we're doing orc. And orc, sorry. <laughs> Not orc, very different. Today we're doing orc, and we're going to go through all of the major races, at least all of the playable races. I don't think we're going to go through all the races, because not only would that take a while, but I'd run out of ideas at a certain point. I also want to admit something. I thought about doing this, you know, in character. Today we will be teaching you how to cook things like a proper orc for the horde. But, uh, A, my throat kind of hurts. B, I don't think I can maintain that all day. C, I don't have a voice for everyone. I mean... It's easy enough to go ahead and do a gnomish voice. But how exactly do you do a... Like a... I guess I could do a troll voice. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, well, how do I differentiate Night Elf from Blood Elf, you know? No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that in character. So instead, we're going to do an orcish dish, dish first. A dish I like to call... Goratar Dire Roast for the Horde! Now while I get these out of their packaging and get ready to cook the sausages here, I wanted to mention an idea I had that I don't actually have the tools to use. See, what I was thinking is go ahead and chop these up into eh, probably about three different sections, right? And then add maybe a big old chunk of pepper, maybe one of onion, you know, stuff like that, and basically add a skewer and make a skewer out of them. But I don't have the vegetables and I don't have the skewer, so... Idea for the future. Oh, and just to explain, the reason I'm starting with these, these are going to take the longest to cook. I'm not going to show the whole process because it's going to be kind of do done in between while I'm doing everything else. So I start off with just the sausages in the skillet, nothing added. We're going to go ahead and flip them periodically until they feel reasonably cooked through. Then I'm going to add some water put the lid on. As you can see, the lid, oh, well, no, you can't see. The lid has a bit of a hole in it. And then I'm going to turn the temperature down to basically three or four on my thing, so, you know, low, medium. And then I'm going to go ahead and let it continue to cook and boil, basically, and make sure it's cooked all the way through. That process is going to take five to 15 minutes, depending on how long I left it on initially. That's why we're starting this now. So in order to get these habaneros where I want them, we need to chop them very finely. So I'm going to chop them as a proper orc should. <laughs> as always, given the nature of what I'm working with here, lots and lots and lots of washing of the hands in between everything because you don't want habanero juice in your eye. Trust me. So I've changed my mind a little bit. Based on our success last time, I'm going to add a little bit of cane sugar as well to the mix. Then, of course, we have to add our habaneros, but I'm not actually add them yet. So here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to mix this up. Now for the hard part. Three should do, right? I sure hope so. So we're going to do these in a couple of different styles to see how this works out. The tricky part here is I really wanted to do the bacon outside of the rub because I think that'll work out the best. So I have to kind of just deal with, you know, getting rather messy here. Let's do it this way. As I try to wrap bacon around raw meat with tons of sugar and black pepper on it. We're just going to actually wrap this traditional style here. I don't even know if you can see this. Kind of concentrating right now. There we go. Okay. 
So, some figures and facts. 400 degrees on the oven, 35 minutes in there for the meat. Check it periodically, we'll show it in just a second. This I left on for about 20 minutes and I put it down to off. You'll notice it's actually completely off right now. I actually you can't see it. But, this, and I've already done a taste test, turned out wonderfully. So we're just gonna leave that there for the moment. Now the hard part, let's get these suckers out of the way. For the horde! Ah. As you can see, nicely browned. Made a bit of a mess because I actually don't have any tin foil to line the tray with. Pro tip, do that. This is gonna be an interesting cleanup process when I get there. Some people save their bacon grease, you can do that too. That's up to you. I'm not here to judge one way or the other. We orcs aren't exactly known for our fanciful presentation, but this is basically it. So let's go ahead and try it, see what it tastes like. Mmm! Oh. oh! That was good. Oh my gosh. So, to give you an idea of what it's, I'm tasting here, habanero, like, outside. Very sweet. I can taste the maple. I can taste the bacon, obviously. And the pepper, which also, I also put habaneros in with the sausage, I meant to mention that. That is good. I think that's a good first experiment, guys. Let me know what you think of these little Warcraft things. And I'll see you next time. So yeah, just a little bit of a PSA at the end there. The bacon wasn't as cooked as I would have liked. So we're going ahead, I actually unwrapped each of the steak pieces. And we're just going ahead and nuking the rest of it here to get a little crispier. This is to your preference. You know, however you, however you like bacon. Some like it a little bit, you know, steamy. Some like it crispy. I prefer crispy myself. But I'm, I, I'm thinking in hindsight, what I probably should have done is gone ahead and cooked the bacon separate to begin with and gotten it to basically the state it's at right now. Then gone ahead and draped it on the steak and let it kind of sit there for the last 10 minutes or so of the bake. That way some of the steak would still, you know, some of the steak would still have the bacon cooked into it, and the bacon would still have some of the rub cooked into it. Hindsight, I suppose. As always, these are kind of experimental, just me making it up as I go, so it didn't surprise me too much that it didn't work out all that well this time. Anyways, that's it. For the horde!